Hi everybody, and welcome back to Craft Time with Matthew Made Art. Really glad to have you here today. I'm excited to share today's project with you. Today, just a few days before Halloween, so we're going to be making these amazing paper floating ghosts. So, I'm going to show you how to make these, and then I'm going to show you how to make them float. Are you ready? Alright, so I'm going to show you a rough idea on how to make these guys. And I want you to be as creative as you want to be. Choose whatever colors, whatever shapes, whatever expression, whatever it makes your ghost your own. I only have three rules of crafting. Kindness is required, creativity is inspired, and perfection is unnecessary. All right, let's make some ghosts. For today's project, you'll need construction paper, scissors, glue, some markers, and plenty of imagination. First step is we'll make our ghost's body. So we'll pick out a color for our ghost. Kind of a green color here and a white color. You can make your ghost whatever color. White's kind of the traditional color, but I think I'm gonna go with pink this time. I got some pink paper here. So the first step is I'm gonna take and I'm gonna cut little zigzags here in the bottom of the paper. So you can do like little zigzags, you can do big zigzags, however you want your ghost to look. I think this time I might do more of a kind of a round scallop shape. So I'll cut that out just to make it different than my other ghost. and as different as you want here. All right, so I got my scalp set on the side, so I'm gonna take my glue. I'll put a little bit of glue down the side. And like a lot of our projects, I'm gonna roll it into a tube here. Like so. Push that together. Sometimes I like to put that like this, put my hands inside to push it down. Alright, so there's the main body of our ghost there. So the next step is I'm going to take that same color and I'm going to cut a little wisp for the top of his or her head. So I got like the uh, little wisp going there. So, whoop, come on, glue here. So I'm going to take my other pink paper here, and this, this is going to be about as wide as this is, so I'd like that big. You don't want to make it too small. And you can cut whatever shape you want for your ghost head. I think I'm just going to do a... I want to kind of goes off to the side here. Like so. like that. Put it on the top of our ghost head like that. So I'm going to glue it right inside that tube. I'm going to glue it on the, on the side opposite of where uh, the glue seam is for the body. So I glue the body together right here. I'll put this on the opposite side. Right in here. Just glue it right inside there. There's the body of our ghost. All right, next we'll work on our ghost's facial features there. You can do whatever expression or whatever face you want. I've got a little bit of green here left over from a green ghost, so I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna fold it in half like this so I can cut one eye shape and end up with two. I think this time I'm just gonna do like kind of circular round eyes here. Round those out just a little bit more. Alright, 
right, so those will be my eyes, but before I glue them on there, I think I want to draw, draw my pupils in there. Let's see if the screen marker shows up on there. Okay, I got my two eyeballs on there. Like so. Now I'm gonna draw the mouth on there. I'm gonna use purple for the mouth. Purple or should I use red? Let's see. I think I'll use purple. You can make a smile, or you can make them like going boo like a ghost. But I think on this one, I think I'm actually gonna make them frown. Let's see what that looks like. Just gonna cut kind of a bowl shape here. Like so. Yeah, I like that. That's gonna be our, our mouth. So put a little bit of glue on here. on your ghost. I put a nose on these other two. I think I'm going to leave the nose off this guy. Because I like how he looks just now. Once you ghost, you can make it look however you want to. So there we go. I think I'm going to put a little tongue in there. I think that's how I use my rig for that. I always keep my scraps around so I can use a ball of paper. So we're going to put a little bit of glue on there. All right, got that glued on there and there's our ghost's face. All right, now we'll do our ghost's arms. So I kind of did these in two pieces just to kind of make it easier. I'll show you how to do that. I'll take our pink here. I'm gonna fold this in half again. The first thing I'm gonna do is cut kind of the main shape of the ghost's arm. Kind of up there on the top and then here on the bottom do some more little, some little scallops like so. All right, so I got my two arm shapes there. Cut those apart. Okay, I'm just gonna fold these up on the end just a little bit. Like that. Uh, just so I can glue them on. Okay, and those are going to go right here on the sides of the ghost. So I'll put a little bit of glue on there. Put this one on this side. Inside the ghost there to kind of press down. Get that stuck on there. Alright, so I got one, one of those on there. Put the other one on the other side. Just 
nice thin layer of glue and it'll dry quicker. Alright. Oops. This one right across from the other one there. Press that down for just a little bit. Alright, press this one back down. Make sure both on there good. Alright, so now we got our arm shaped, now I'm just going to cut out some fingers. I'll take a piece of paper, get folded in half. I'm just going to cut out like a little hand shape here. Kind of little spread out fingers. Fold these down like right here at the bottom of the hand and right here. I'm going to glue those on right there. Put a little bit of glue on this little tab we folded. I'll take this, and glue it right on the end of the arm there. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. Okay, so I got that kind of folded over like that. I'll do it on the other side here. A little tab behind the arm. Kind of fold it over, press it on there. All right, and then what I kind of did is I took my fingers and I just kind of rolled them kind of shape them a little bit more, so just kind of roll them up like so. There you go, so your hands are kind of like that. Roll these fingers up just a little bit. All right. Now for the last step, the secret step on how to make your ghost float. I'm just going to take the back here, and we're going to be really careful. We're going to just poke a little hole in the back here. Make sure you don't get your fingers. I'm going to make a hole there that's just about as big as our finger. So, use your scissors, kind of put your finger in there. That's going to fit your thumb. You can put your thumb in that hole. Right, so when your thumbs in that hole, you can hold it like this. Ooh, it looks like he's floating. All right, congrats, you did it. We made our floating ghost. So I hope you enjoyed the project. And if you did, if you could share and like and subscribe and all that stuff helps me out. Helps get the videos out there. And be sure to join us next week. We'll be making these cute little puppy dogs. So we'll see you soon, and thanks again for hanging out and making crafts. Bye.